In the James Bay Lowlands, 90 kilometers west of Attawapiskat First Nation, is the Victor Mine, Ontario's first and only open pit diamond mine. This place is in the middle of nowhere, literally. The closest urban center to the location, Timmins, is 515 kilometers away. After a decade of successful operation, this remote mine is set to go ahead with its prearranged closure and remediation plans. Leading the way are the De Beers Group and Priestley Demolition. A large amount of infrastructure needs to be knocked down, reduced, and sorted into manageable scrap piles. To expedite the schedule, Priestley is doing something you don't see every day. They're flying their machines in on a Hercules. We're using the De Beers existing construction equipment, and now we're going to complement that gear with some of our own gear from back home. So we have to truck it to Timmins, load it on the Hercules, bring it up here piece by piece and reassemble the equipment here. The first of the Hercules loads have arrived and the crew wastes no time getting it unloaded. Taking excavators apart and putting them on a Hercules plane and flying them up to a remote mine site is out of this world. It's, it's, it's unbelievable and we've got a really good team of people up here. So yeah, once those machines start arriving, it's a new game up here. Priestley will need the best of the best up here because calling in for backup isn't an option. PDI's machines are assembled on site and put to work. We're finally making active progress. We're starting here on the PK tube. We were gonna be doing this early spring. Now we've got great weather, window of opportunity presented itself, everything's approved and we're at it. The high reach continues to chew away at the PK tube while excavators process the material and massive rock trucks haul them away. With the PK tube out of the way, the team makes quick work of the PK tower that it was previously attached to. And just like that, the first significant exterior structure on site is no more. But the team from PDI doesn't stop there, as they relentlessly attack additional buildings. On a site this massive, there's often more going on than meets the eye. That's definitely the case here, as interior stripping is going on in the process plant, with Torchman removing the larger pieces of steel to make it easier for the high reach. The crew continues to chew through this interior at a torrid pace, preparing it for a looming structural demolition. As the winter weather gives way, the interior has been completely gutted, and many of the structures on site have been torn down. It's time to put this plant in the dirt. Right now we're peeling all the siding off, then they'll take off the thickener area, which is the lower side of this building, and then they'll proceed in taking out the main structure. The next few days, our main task is to take down the processing plant, and then once we reach the end of the processing plant, it's what we call the red zone. That's where the big machines, the big bolts used to be. The team reaches the red zone, and although it's a milestone on this job, the crew wastes no time digging in. Both the scrubber and the crusher plants are pulverized, and with that, this job is history. The team from Priestley Demolition have removed all production facilities on site, and they have meticulously sorted and organized all materials. So the De Beers Victor Mine project's coming to an end. Uh, we're slowly uh, demobilizing all our equipment out. It was a very successful project. I'm pretty proud of the team from a safety perspective as well as a production perspective. 
We were faced with some challenges, but I'm proud to say that we were able to finish the project on time and actually uh, within budget. So a very successful project for PDI, a unique one, and one to be proud of by the entire PDI team. PDI loads up its machines on the Hercules, and the final shift boards up to head home, satisfied with a job well done. A massive job spanning more than a year, yet just another day at the office for Priestly Demolition.